The Presence of Mine Enemies, Short Movie Review. Armin Mueller Stahl portrays the strong character rabbi, Adam Heller, who tries to maintain his and his family's safety and sanity in the Jewish ghetto in Warsaw in 1942. When his son returns from battle, having escaped from a camp, he is spewing some rhetoric very similar to what the Nazis are saying, and it sparks a hefty moral discussion between the two, and raises some very important moral issues. Is it okay for one group to do something horrible to another group who first did something horrible to them? And you know, can usser than mentality ever solve a conflict? And you know, is, is it a you know useful way to proceed? The film is brilliantly acted. Armin Mueller Stahl gives one of his best performances, and you know, that's saying a lot because he's a great actor. Charles Dance portrays the Commandant, who, among pretty much all the other Nazis in the film, are absolutely terrible people, you know, as the Nazis were. There is one exception, there is one sympathetic Nazi who does bring up the very necessary point that not everyone who found themselves in Germany you know, during the Nazi time, agreed with what Hitler was doing, and some of them maybe didn't know. And certainly they didn't have a lot of, you know, chance to put into action if, you know, if they wanted to change things. It's not like they had much of a chance to do so. Not exactly a democracy. Anyway, the film is extremely powerful, and it manages to really make us realize how horrible the war was and how, you know, the, the terrible things that the Nazis did to the Jews, Jews without actually showing very much. It hints pretty much exclusively. There's very little actual on-screen violence. And it's all the stronger for it. It is, however, not a flawless film. It is not very well paced. The 90 minute running time feels at least two hours. And some things are established without any real payoff. They are just, they're in the movie because they were there in real life, you know, and they wanted to stay true to real life. At least that's my impression. And frankly, one plot thread is established fairly early on and then isn't brought up again at all until near the very end, which is, you know, obviously, yeah. actually you can't forget about it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.